What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gemini Dutch's July and August 2022 releases. Now, this release has everything. We have Gemini Max, we have civilian models, and we also have 1-200 to 200 mix of cargo and civilian, and a few military. So this is a very large and diverse release. Starting off with 1-400, to 400, we have an Iceland Air 737 Max 8. Registration is Tango Foxtrot India Charlie Echo, and that price is $50.95. Then we have two Lufthansa 7879s, they're the same registration, but a uh, different uh, physical exterior, should I say. Registration on this one is Delta Alpha Bravo Papa Alpha, and it's $60.95. And the one that's $64.95 is the same registration, just with the flaps and slats down. Moving on, we have a Lufthansa CRJ900LR. Registration is Delta Alpha Charlie November Delta. If this was registered, uh, if this was Charlie November Oscar, I probably would have gone for it because I did fly that aircraft um, last year. So this is uh, not one that I want to get, but the price on this one is $46.95. Then we have a Qantas Link Embraer E190 with the registration Victor Hotel Uniform Zulu Delta. It costs the same price as the CERJ900. This one is just $46.95. And you can just see Gemini just is deteriorating quality. Even in their pictures before you get the model. I mean, you can see that the the paint on the outside, the red paint is seeping into the white. And then here even you can see that there's a paint chip on the flag. So you can just see through the pictures even in the releases how good the quality is on the models. Anyway, uh, moving on, we have one United model in 1 to 400. It's a 737 MAX 8 and they're being United livery. Registration is number 27261 and the price is $50.95. Then we have a UPS 747-400 and the optional doors closed or open. Price of this is $69.95 with the registration number 580 Uniform Papa. Then we have two Gemini Max releases. The first one is a Lockheed C5 in the Westover Air Force Base. Registration is 870037 and it's $67.95. And then we have a KC-135 uh, R tanker in the McConnell Air Force Base, as you can see. Registration on this one is 623534. Moving on to the 1-200 releases, we have an Ameristar McDonnell Douglas DC-9. Registration is number 785 Tango Whiskey. Uh, there's actually a mistake here, it says 785, meanwhile it's a 784, so I'm just going to go with the picture and say 785. This I actually want to get, I've never flown a Maristar, uh, I don't have any ties to it, but it just looks like a cool model, so I actually do want to get, I don't really buy one or 200 models, but this is one that I do want to get. And the price on the DC-9 is 85.95. Then we have a Breeze A220, registration number 203, Bravo Zulu, this one is 98.95. And then we have a Canadian Pacific Air 727-200. Registration is uh, Charlie Golf Charlie Papa Bravo, and it's $104.95. Then we have a $160 uh, Emirates Sky Cargo 777F. The registration on this is Alpha 6 Echo Foxtrot Mike. Then we have the same Isendair in 1-400, to but this is in 1-200, to with the same registration and everything, which is Tango Foxtrot India Charlie Echo. The price on the ice and air is $101. Then we have two KLM 737-700s. They're actually the same aircraft, but uh, different types. By that, I mean different physical exteriors. This one is Papa Hotel Bravo Golf India. And this is uh, $104.95, I want to say. No, $195. And this is just normal. And there's also a flaps and slats down one, which is... Uh, flaps and slats down, obviously, and it costs a little bit more, which is $105. Then we have a Latam 7879 Dreamliner. Registration is Charlie Charlie Bravo Golf Mike. And the price of this 1 to 200 model is $157. Then we have two Lufthansa Cargo 777Fs, both registered Delta Alpha Lima Foxtrot Alpha. This is the normal one, and it costs $153.95. And this one that costs 160, well 159.95, but 160. This one actually has uh, open doors closed, or doors open and doors closed. Anyways, sorry for the noise outside. There's something going on. Anyways, we have a Qantas A380. 
This is just a cash grab from Gemini because, I mean, honestly, this is $192. I don't really think it costs that much to produce a 1 to 400, uh, one to 200 model. It's, even if it's just die cast, I don't think it costs that much. I mean, this is just ridiculous with these price increases. Registration is Victor Hotel of Oscar Quebec Bravo, and it's $192. Now, I understand this is very, very big, but still, just because of the size, you shouldn't charge somebody that much for a model. Anyway, moving on to the last two models, we have a C17 Globemaster 3, uh, registered 033119, and it's $138. Uh, this one is in the Mississippi ANG, Air National Guard, and yeah, it costs $138. Moving on to the last aircraft, we have a Boeing E4B, the Doomsday Plane. Airborne Command Post. Registration is 750125 and it costs $217. This is ridiculous. $217 for a 1 to 200 model is ridiculous. For that money, let me just put this into perspective. For that money, you could fly Spirit from Atlantic City or even Newark to Fort Lauderdale, Miami and onwards and still have money left over. These models are getting this expensive. Anyways, besides me ranting about the expensiveness of these models, uh, I really only want to get one model, and that's the Maristar, just because it looks cool. But uh, yeah, I don't really need anything from this release. There's a lot of variety, but there's uh, the variety really tends to go towards more European collectors. Anyway, with that being said, that just concludes this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to share my videos, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, goodbye.